What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video we're talking about iCloud Bypass. I know it's been a while since I talked about this on my channel, but it was a time for an update, especially since something very important happened. iCraze posted in here, quote, iCloud and App Store after iCloud Bypass pre-iOS 13.3. And he does post a picture in here with the phone showing an account that is connected in there. And of course that's actually quite cool. And I actually thought about it and yeah, it's actually possible to bypass iCloud right now in 2020 using the exploit that has been released, the Checkmate exploit by Axiom X. That one is actually a bootroom exploit, which means that you can load a custom-made firmware like those that I made in the past and you can actually restore it with this exploit in here. And for the 32-bit devices, there are even tools designed to do that like Cherry Flower by Dora. And this one here supports the iPhone 5, 5C and the iPhone 4 and it does that. It can restore a custom-made firmware with the patched setup.app if you want, but even for the 64-bit devices supported by the Checkmate, which are basically the iPhone 10, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 6, 6 Plus, 6S and stuff like that, even 5S and so on, all of this can be bypassed with custom-made firmware or even easier by creating an SSH RAM disk. So basically you'd be able to access the file system, mount it, remove setup.app and you will be good to go. You're no longer iCloud locked. And like I discussed back in my previous videos a few years ago about the custom-made firmware and iCloud bypass, the bypass with these methods would basically result in no service, in no SIM card, no service, no App Store, no notifications. Well, for the App Store, you can finally fix it according to iCrazy here, but for the uh, carrier, for, you know, being able to place calls and receive calls and text messages and notifications, that is actually much harder. You can fix it in some ways, and I'm going to talk about this in one of my next videos but that's actually one of the hard things to do because the carrier and the carrier bundles and of course the activation ticket are very important when it comes to the cellular connection the baseband would basically refuse to allow you to place any calls or to use the sim card without having an activation ticket that is actually valid which is a challenge when you do iCloud bypass because you don't have an activation ticket received from the Apple server which is albert.apple.com you're basically faking it by removing setup the app or by other means but you don't have a valid certificate and you don't have a valid activation ticket. So yeah, that's actually one of the things that need fixing even after all these years. But finally, it is possible to perform custom-made firmware iCloud bypass and even simpler iCloud bypass with iPawn DFU, which contains the Checkmate exploit. Now, it hasn't been designed for this, but it can be used for this. However, you should only use this for iCloud bypass. If you've got scammed or you bought that device and it turned out to be locked, please don't use this for nefarious reasons because I do not condone that. But anyways, yeah, it's definitely possible to perform iCloud bypass with this. I may be able to make tutorials in the future for that, so stay tuned on the channel. But if you want to talk about that, here on the forum on Jailbreak Central, I do have a section for iCloud bypass where I have the research and questions and trusted services and scammers and even the status or what's currently going on. And in here you can find tutorials, you can find, you know, various guides and various tools, and you can even ask questions related to iCloud bypass. So if you're really interested in this matter, you can definitely ask questions in here. The forum is completely free. But yeah, finally we can do more research on the iCloud ground because as you can see we finally get to know how to add the App Store and iCloud to work but pre-13.3. However, I know for sure that iOS 13.3 which is currently the latest version has also gotten a bypass and that is of course with the Checkmate exploit. The Checkmate exploit in here is actually a bootroom exploit which means that you can use it to restore custom-made firmware, you can use it to perform anything you want to the device and this exploit cannot be patched. So on the compatible devices it doesn't matter if you're running 13.2, 13.1, 12, 13.3 or any version in the future as long as you're using a compatible device which means iPhone 10 or lower you would be able to use that exploit for iCloud bypass, custom-made firmware restore, or anything you want to be honest. And the biggest problem remains with the devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. These are not supported by this exploit so you cannot bypass these for the moment. However, the iPhone 10 and lower, for example iPhone 10, 8, 7 and stuff like that, all of this can be bypassed with no problem using tools like the uh, Checkmate and of course you need to restore the custom-made firmware. And of course for the 32-bit devices it's even easier. The Cherry Flower tool in here, I talked about it in one of my videos so if you want to check it out check the description down below it's actually made especially to do that so yeah definitely possible and i'm going to keep you updated with the iCloud bypass stuff here on the channel in the near future so yeah definitely subscribe to stay updated and also check the jailbreak forum because we also have the iCloud bypass section in here where you can ask questions or see the status so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out